that I am doing with raisins training. Through. Get it. Hey, good girl. Okay, come here. Good, Sam. Good girl. Good, Sam. Oops. Yay. Yes. Good girl. Good job. So just a few little tricks here and there. And she also um, does the nose bridging. Ready? Okay. And also, if you just want to note the way that I set her up, this is the way that I always set my dogs up so that they're in drive and they're excited when I set them up. So they always have a little jump to get ready. That was a big jump, but there's always a jump. Then she's doing some nose bridging, which brings her focus up. And again, it's keeping her engaged. Yes. Then. I'll put my hands in the collar and just keep her nice and calm and so that there's no feeling of restraint because my hands are in the collar. Ask for another nose bridge. Yes. And then I'll put my hand in the collar and then I will ask her to bounce. So bouncing is something that we do together. I'm not bringing her up into a bounce. We come together. And again, it, it's a fun thing to do. It keeps her in drive and it's an, a nice release um, in between exercises. Good girl. Good job. Okay. So anytime um, she's so used to the hands in the collar and, and doing um, a bounce that it's, I can use it also in my training for if there's any time that I want to do um, a reminder if she did an about turn and it was kind of it was slow or she wasn't right there I can put my hand in the collar and make the correction the, the information that I want to give her a lot of fun get it, get it, get it. so it would look something like this ready so let's say I was going around and I was doing an about turn and I didn't uh, I wasn't happy with it So what I would do is just put my hand in the collar and then I would repeat the about turn, but I would put some emphasis on effort and fun into it by doing the bounce. Okay, ready? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Ready, steady, go. And bounce, and bounce, and bounce. Yay, good girl. Then the next one I do, she will pick it up and she understands that she needs to put more effort into it. Here it is. Now, let's say I was training and she was in kind of it was warm out um, she was just having an off day she was giving lack of effort um, what i quite often do when i start her off on healing is i don't get into the formal sit stay go healing i quite often what i'll do is put my hands in the collar and even two hands sometimes and i'll do this are you ready steady go shot. go 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 yay stretch stretch Yay! Awesome job! Awesome! So that way, I'm bringing her into the start of the exercise, the start of healing with great enthusiasm. It works wonders with her. She absolutely loves it. She finds it a lot of fun and it takes the formal out of obedience training. So again, it would kind of look like this. Ready? And sometimes I can play a little more games, gets her all riled up. Ready, ready, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Steady. Go strut. Yeah. You can see how fired up she gets. Woo. Yeah. And she's really having a, just a super hoot of a time. Okay. And that is what obedience training is supposed to be all about. Having fun. Good job.